Hi and welcome to Yum Paleo. Today we're going to be making a really simple, really fresh meal. Um, and basically what we're putting together is pan-seared duck breast um, with a small sort of selection of uh, stir-fried vegetables and we're having that on a really easy parsnip mash. So to get started I'll just run you through what we're cooking with and then we'll get you a start, we'll get us started. So to start off with we've got uh, four duck breasts. Um, they've still got their skins on. Um, remember when you do duck breasts, uh, when they do the breast medallions, they're all joined up. Um, what we're going to do with these, uh, when I'm ready to cook them, is pull the skin off them, because that's a little bit chewy. Um, so we're just really working with the meat that goes underneath that. And as we do that, just remember with duck that it's a really fast cooking meat, because it dries out really, really quickly. In addition to that, I've julienned uh, three carrots here, so they're just into really fine slices. I have a pepper, I've got some uh, three plums, because plum goes really fantastic with duck. I've got a little bit of ginger, which I'm going to grate into it. I've got some garlic. Um, I've got five portobello mushrooms. Um, you can use any kind of mushroom. If you don't have these, uh, normal button mushrooms are okay. Uh, but my preference is for something a little more chunky and a bit more organic. Now, uh, in addition to that, we're doing that just on a small uh, parsnip uh, mash or a pureed parsnip. So what I've done is I've got about four or five parsnips and I've just chopped them up and I've just got them boiling away there because they take a few extra minutes. So really what it comes down to to getting this meal right is the timing. And of course, with the parsnip being a root vegetable, um, it's a little more dense. Um, so that's going to take a little longer to cook, obviously, than other things. So, to start off with, what we want to do is we want to start seasoning the pan. And in order to do that, we're going to just put some olive oil in there, get started with a little bit of garlic, and we're going to grate some ginger in too. So you can use dried ginger. I prefer not to, um, because I want to keep it as fresh as we can. So we're just going to peel some of that tough skin off the ginger. and just You just do that with a knife, really. It's fairly straightforward. Um, and yes, because you don't want those chewy bits in there, but it's going to just give it a really nice little bit of a zest. And for the oil, we're just using um, a fairly standard um, olive oil, and we're going to put in about two tablespoonfuls just to get this started off. It's really important that you don't put the meat in too soon, because like I said, Duck's a really lean meat, there's not a lot of fat on it other than the skin, um, and so it dries out really, really quickly, and because duck's really nice, you just don't want to muck it up. So there we go, I've got most of that peeled, or most of the bit I want at least. So I'm just going to heat that pan up, so just plug that in, and just turn it up to a sort of medium to medium fast heat. And Don't be too exact with the measurements, so that'll just get us started, and I'm just going to grate that ginger straight into there. Careful with the fingers when you're doing it. We don't want that meat in there with the duck. So already that smells fantastic. Just break open a clove, and we're going to use probably three quite reasonable sized cloves in this mix. So just get rid of all that loose skin. Now remember the trick with crushing garlic, is you just get the flat part of your knife, and you just crack it like that trim the root off and that should basically help you peel the skin off really easily. So just get that crusher. Ease that heat down a wee bit. I'm 
just going to throw those skins straight in too because I like a bit of extra garlic in mine. that temperature down a little bit. Okay. From here, just going to add that carrot in. And I'm just going to put a wee bit of water in there because I just want to get the steam going. Just going to get that lid on. And from here, just get on and slice up these mushrooms. Now remember with the mushroom, it'll shrink down quite a bit as it cooks, so don't be too alarmed at the volume of it going in uh, compared to other ingredients. It's like I say, it shrinks down as it cooks. So while we're letting them steam up, so just getting these skins off, just it's a little bit of handling there, but it's fun as long as you don't feel squeamish handling dead meat. I assure you it's worth it though. So you just gotta be patient, but it will separate. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to slice this into straps. So throw that over there. So we're ready to, whoops, I've just thrown that everywhere. Just grab that, throw that in. Now just make a note of the time, because we're not going to want to cook this for much more than about five minutes. So from here we're just going to add those three plums. I just want to hook the stones out.
So I've just finished that off and I've just uh, pureed the parsnip. So I've just put a wipe of that across the middle of the plate. And here we go, I'm just going to serve some of this duck just straight on top. And with the plum in there, it just smells pretty gosh darn good. So there we have it, really simple, really fresh pans uh, pan seared duck on a parsnip mash. So really hope you enjoy that and look forward to seeing you back here at Yum Paleo for the next recipe. See you next time.